going to start now. I'm sorry. 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 Uh, welcome everyone to tonight's town council meeting on Wednesday, October 14th, 2015. We're going to call the order of the meeting. Thank you. Con in a row, Mr. Brown. Present. Mr. DeFalco. Here. Mr. Jones. Present. Ms. Sykes. Present. Mr. Thiessen. Mr. Thiessen is absent at the moment. There is a quorum. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. Please be seated. The verification notice. This meeting is being held pursuant to the Open Public Meetings Act of 1974, and all provisions of that act have been met with adequate notice of this meeting having been published in the Township's two official newspapers on January 12, 2015, published on the Township's uh, website, and posted on the official Township Bulletin Board. Thank you. There are no communications this evening. Uh, the meeting is September 16, 2015. It's not complete, so we're going to review them and hold them up for next meeting. We have the, uh, min the minutes for September 28th, 2015 regular session. Are there any questions, comments on those minutes? Is there action on those minutes? I'm sorry, he's just... You were here. 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 On the 28th. I'm sorry. We lost track of days. We thought it was a Wednesday. We've done that. Yeah, yeah, Mondays and Wednesdays. Sorry. <laughs> Mondays and Wednesdays confused me. So, uh, motion to approve. So, is there a second? Second. Roll call, please. Mr. Brown? Yes. Ms. Sykes? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. DeFalco? Yes. Motion carries unanimously. Lastly, we have a executive minutes for September 28th, 2015. Uh, this was at the end of the meeting. Yes. So, remember, uh, if there's any questions or comments now, if not, is there action on those minutes? Motion to approve. Second. Roll call, please. Mr. Brown? Yes. Ms. Sykes? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. DeFalco? Yes. Motion carries unanimously. All right, we're going to ordinances by first reading. This is by titles, Ordinance 2015-10, an ordinance amending Chapter 36 of the Municipal Code to recreate the position of the police captain. Again, this is the first reading. Uh, if you have any, any, any comments, you can make them now. Uh, if not, is your action on this ordinance? I move to pass Ordinance 2015-10. Second. Second. Roll call, please. Mr. Brown? Yes. Ms. Sykes? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. DeFalco? Yes. Motion carries unanimously. Next, we have two ordinances on setting a second reading by title only and public hearings. Each one of these will require public hearings. And I'll open them separately for each ordinance. We have ordinance number 2015-8. This is an ordinance amending chapter 3 of the municipal code to eliminate the notary fee. Again, this is the removal fee. Uh, so we no longer have that at the time. We'll open up the floor to the public open the public hearing portion. Anyone wishing to comment on this ordinance can do so now. Seeing none, I'm close to the public hearing portion of the ordinance. Open the public hearing portion for ordinance 2015-9, which is an ordinance of the Township of Mount Holly, amending chapter 106 of the Municipal Code to update and amend various fees charged for various licenses, applications, or other municipal services as provided therein. And members of the public have comments regarding that ordinance. Seeing none, I also close the public hearing portion of the ordinance. Bring it back to council. Any comments on those ordinances? If not, is there action on those ordinances? We'll do each one separately. Motion to approve ordinance 2015 8. Is there a second? No, I'll second. Roll call, please. Mr. Brown? Yes. Ms. Sykes? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. Thacker? Yes. Motion carries unanimously. Next year, ordinance 2015 9. Is there action on that ordinance? Motion to approve. Is there a second? No, second. Roll call, please. Mr. Brown? Yes. Ms. Sykes? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. DeFalco? Yes. Motion carries unanimously. We'll roll right into the matter to be presented by the public. At this time, members of the public are invited to submit comments during this public portion of the meeting. We, as the council, for the Open Public Meeting Act, will not publicly discuss personnel matters and may choose not to respond to comments made by members of the public during this portion of the meeting. However, mm -hmm. the council will give all comments appropriate consideration and will refer all individual complaints to the township manager or appropriate township representative for resolution. Each citizen will be allowed up to three minutes to speak in order to allow everyone an opportunity to express their opinions or their concerns. So at this time, I open up the meeting to the public. For those wishing to speak, please come up with your name, address, and record.
Good evening. Hi. Um, do we have a historic commission? And do we have a historic district? We have a historic district, yes. So we have a historic commission, yes. We have a commission? This is me. We have a person. It's Alan right there. It's yeah. right now. He's our liaison to it. So if you want to do something, you just do it? Apply to the code, and uh, our code official will work with um, Alan, and it's just things of simple nature, let's work with the replacement, roofing replacement, siding, mm -hmm. facades, things of that. It'll go to Alan. Require site plan approval as far as the conditions, construction, and then go to planning board for review. Gee, are you going to put more people on the commission? Probably not. Can have one person. Probably not. At some point, it probably be uh, dissolved. It's dissolved. At some yes. point, it'll probably be dissolved. Why do you want to dissolve it? It's a function that the planning board can pretty much do. But you still want to have a district. The district would not go anywhere, correct? So the historic value of the district will remain in, in their place. Because we have, a, you know. National landmarks. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So to dissolve it, you would do an ordinance. They would probably be an ordinance or an action by council to dissolve the historic commission when that time comes, if it does. Yes. Okay. Lewis. Go ahead. Come on first. Hi. Name is Mary Webster, two twenty Cardinal Lane, Mount Holly. Um, I have a problem, I think there's a couple of seniors that have it too. Snow removal, is there now, or would you consider having a crew to help seniors remove snow? Because we're all getting kind of old. <laughs> I mean, the, the person who did it, all the crew would be paid, you know, whatever the going rate is. But it's, it's a growing problem. Right now, I don't believe there is anything that we have that mm -hmm. we can do with that. I mean, it's something we should have, an average number. I mean, right now, obviously, public works. In, in conjunction with contractual agreements with the county, we have to do all county roads, see if the roads first, see the roads first, sidewalks and tertiary roads, and things like that come last. Yeah. Uh, but nonetheless, Eric, we should probably set up a phone number or a way that you know those who are in need can reach out to us, yeah. and maybe we can refer either a contractor that has a rate that we can establish that is affordable for those that can't do it, or maybe even, even we as public works can do something if there's no real overhead to get a sidewalk clear or a road clear to that area. I know that dual for us for senior services is something that we can do, but it would be something that we should look into. Absolutely. Well, I appreciate that. Thank yeah, you. Absolutely. Yeah, that, it, these things are <laughs> forgotten. Sometimes it may look like it is because we're doing, talking about things like yeah. lake restorations and pavings and park improvements yeah. and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. But Sorry, senior services and help are out there. It's something we want to do. And as far as counts, we all want to do this. So in the future, look for more things on the website as well as outreach programs. Absolutely. Thank you very absolutely. much. Yeah. Good morning. It's good to see you back up here, Alan. <laughs> I forgot to come up once in a while. No, I just wanted to thank uh, Township Manager, Council, and Public Works uh, for the use of the trailer, the stage, the generator, etc. for all the events that we do. We use them for Holly Stock, we use them this weekend for the Witch's Ball, and then we pack them up and move them over real quick Sunday for the Buddy Walk. And it works out great and it helps everybody out. So thank you very much. Great. Lewis, mm -hmm. come on down. I don't have a price for you, so I can't get price right. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in uh, Tennessee Manager, uh, Tennessee Manager, Manager. I wanted to thank uh, for a wonderful week as well. I saw at least two persons, I mean, J.C. Jones and you, there. And uh, this thing was, uh, how do you say, one uh, extreme, amazing. Uh, <coughs> it was past. Uh, it was Yeah. It was Especially the bands. Yeah. Like my wife said, and that guy went uh, uh, boxing shorts, the usual boxing. And it, it is almost 35 degrees. <laughs> he must have some good cuts to do. <laughs> then, uh, my question is, I just what's your opinion on the uh, retro hospital, you know, being moved in the future? No, you're just your opinion. Again? The being moved, maybe uh, yeah. the one being built in there? Yeah. My opinion is? Yeah, no, just your opinion. It's probably a benefit in disguise. But that's my opinion. I'd love to see single family housing back up there to restore some of the uh, you know community. And uh our president uh uh he chose to tap on uh I just to, to clarify again to, to me uh, the person who picked the choices for the four brand new houses, who's in charge of that of just picking those who live there? Yeah. No, no, the, the order in the housing. 
And it's, it's a contractually agreed between uh, the attorney, Olga, on your, on your side, as well as our attorneys. And there's an order. It, there, there's a specific order that goes That's it. Uh, um, you know, I understand before, but well, well, like they have at least a, a quarter half of this. Again, and I'm sure if you're just here, you tell you the same thing, we need to reach out to your attorney and have them reach yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, there is a very good point out with this. Yeah. At this point, it's all contraction within the agreement for the settlement. Yeah, that's I really to hope the move. Yeah, uh, it's not like Bank of America, oh, I can't help you. I said, uh uh. I said, Bank of America, I help people. Uh, like I said, I hope you know, we can move to our new house in a bit soon. So, I love you know, could, uh, you know, live, uh, you know, about life. Absolutely, but I just like to, again, reference, because you're talking about moving into the homes over there, it is based on contractual obligation between both uh, the plaintiff and us, uh, and having an agreement. And right now, all of the tenant obligations have been fulfilled. So we're waiting pretty much on your side to open and close things. Okay. Again, I just want to clarify that, okay. so the record reflects that, at this point, our obligation for this first floor. Uh, I'm just, uh, for the fees, for the all uh, in uh, 2015, like, can you change it, and if you change it to the bill of shed? And if you change it to the bill of shed, it's to the same sheds. Shed fees? Yeah, yeah. And that would have modified that ordinance. Oh, no. It has not changed. Oh, okay. And it just, I'm just curious about one ordinance right here. All in a, 2015, 190. That's a number two, a cafe, a cafe. Why is doing the, it's a, oh, it's a beef up, right? They were supposed to um, participate in the Witch's Ball there. They were paid a fee and now we're yeah. reimbursing the fee. They, did, they did not participate, so. Oh, oh, oh it's curious, I mean. Yeah. And I, like I say, uh, I do enjoy, you know, coming to the meeting and I appreciate for taking uh, my request for it. Thank you. No problem. Thanks, Lewis. Anybody else this evening? I have a question. Real quick. Mm -hmm. Okay. Real quick. okay um, did the Lakes Appliance building sell? Yes. Do yes. you know how much? I don't have that right now. Right off hand. Do you know who bought it? Uh, for more. Okay, do you know what, it's, what they're going to do? Right now, it's uh, in the redevelopment area. It's still being discussed. Do you know when the planning board meets? Next plan board meeting is Monday. Monday? Monday? Okay. Do they, are they coming with a plan? As of right now, I'm not on the record plan for that now. So have you seen any plan? Right now, it's still being discussed. So there's no plan right now. So there's nothing right now. So the lot across the street that um, the township owns? Do you, or do you have a the plan for that? The lot across the street? The one that you fenced off? You're talking about the corner lot? Yeah. Uh, right now, we still own it. There's still no plans for it yet. And are they going to buy it? Still, not yet. Nothing is so, that whole area is anything going on? It's as it was last time we discussed it. What did we discuss? Oh, you? Yes. <laughs> what, the town council? With you. We were in a meeting. We discussed what was going on with those properties. So that nothing changed? No. Okay. no. Okay. At this time, I'll close the public portion of the meeting, and we'll roll into our consent agenda, which is resolution 2015-186, through the approval of the department reports. So uh, at this time, if there's anyone who had any questions regarding the resolutions, the approval of the best practices worksheet, go list on the department reports. Please bring it up now. If not, is there action on the consent agenda? Make a motion for the consent agenda. Is there a second? Second. Roll call, please. Mr. Brown? Yes. Your sites? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. Bethalco? Yes. We can carry me name, so. Eric, right, do you have any first time? Uh, no, just uh, uh, the things that were in the packet, the late things that came in, uh, you might want to just highlight that from our chief of blue got a nice congressional certificate. And um, next meeting, I we will introduce our first uh, chaplain program yep. that started, and we'll want you to meet that person. So next meeting. Absolutely. I'm really excited about it. Anything from our solicitor this evening? Uh, no, I will bring the Garden District of Georgia's attention. <coughs> okay. All right. Betty, you bring this evening? Yeah, I am. Okay. Blue? Uh, just in the 24th, 
of Saturday, mm -hmm. we will have a fundraiser for recreation mm -hmm. at Fox. Yes. October. Yes. October. October. That's good. <laughs> you know what you were trying to get back to me? I, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, welcome everybody here to come with me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Police Department and Public Works and everyone involved with the Witches Ball. It was a great success. Um, I saw Lewis down there. I was down there early with my kids, so I had to leave early um, before it got completely crowded. Um, but it was still a very nice event and we saw a lot of people out there. I had a lot of nice conversations with a few people. Um, so it's positive moving forward. Um, thank you. That's it. Cool stuff. Okay, yeah, I got a couple things to say real quick. Um, yeah, Witch's Ball was awesome. It was my second year judging it. It's really cool costumes. Uh, I'll say the game was packed. Absolutely packed. My recommendation uh, for those who are Main Street, uh, Alan, Nicole, who are here, uh, please bring back to the board and say, time to expand. Mm -hmm. Can't be in that small place anymore. You gotta make it bigger. Too many people. People were leaving because they got a little crowded. Um, and when you get so many people in a tight space, emotions and things happen. And we want to make sure that all those things stay within a certain range during these events. Um, but nonetheless, it was a great event. It was, I think, the biggest I've ever seen. It was, it was great. I mean, they could have been. All the, uh, I mean, obviously, we had some PR on that, which, which helped. But the weather lined up where it was nice out there. And it was just a, a really, really nice evening. Um, and some of those costumes were just crazy. They really were. Costumes. And all, I think all the businesses did well. Uh, uh, the businesses had to do well. I tried to go down for dinner and I couldn't make it. <laughs> I, I missed it. It was crowded. It was yeah. Nice track. <laughs> well, if you looked at it, the <laughs> municipal parking lot was packed. Our county parking lot was full. They were parking on the side streets. All it, it was. I mean, it was. It was good. Mm -hmm. But that also means it expanded. And also taking away again, not that he pointed to Facebook, but a lot of the commentary was it was nice. It needs to be bigger. So I just wanted to relay that out and make sure that we look at that in the future to do that. The other thing I want to do is, uh, I know I just thinking about this, I'd like to invite uh, uh, Heidi, uh, Lynn, and those who are involved with the Witches Ball and bring them in the next council meeting and uh, present them with some sort of a certificate of appreciation of them doing a job well done. Because it does take a lot of work to do that. And with the amount of people over there and with the limited amount of incidents that happened, you know, between the police help and what they had their staff, they did a good job and it deserve to be recognized. So, um, and if anything, that will help ensure that next year, we're ready to go now, get ready for next year's one. And we'll try to figure out, with the help of, of, of Eric and our chief and police, you know, where the extended territory should be uh, outside of, you know, downtown area. Maybe you can bring it over across the corner lot as well and maybe be the high street. I have no idea, but we need more room. Chief is going to have a continued meeting with the yeah. <clears throat> um, one thing I wanted to bring up, I know last meeting was brought up, the uh, back was in, had an issue, which fixed. Do we have a schedule for um, getting the uh, removal of the stuff on the street tomorrow? All right, Panos, people were asking, I'm like, at the website, okay, they're going to do that. We're trying to catch up with all of our other stuff since it was late. Okay, let me get down here before the weather gets too cold. Okay. Mm -hmm. We got till Saturday. Alright, well, let's go get 70 after Yes. Alright. Well, that means I have anything else on the agenda. What about the news? I'm sorry? What about the good news? Oh, the stuff that's over here? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I might have been this stuff up. So, we have a couple of reviews things here. Well, really, again, I talked about parks up earlier, but we do have in front of us here. The actual, so we were awarded obviously Green Acres money for the park improvements over at Bill Dam. This is for the park improvements um, in regards to a splash park, more basketball court, tennis court, walking paths, lights, a whole bunch of stuff, pavilions, cooking pavilions, new bathrooms, all that kind of stuff over there. Uh, but again, being awarded does not mean that we're actually going to get it until the governor has it in front of him since he can change his mind at any time and say, yeah, I'm just kidding, we'll give somebody else. I have here in front of me the official sign off of the state saying the governor approved Mount Holly for the full amount that was on there, which is a $1.1 million matching grant for the parking uh, improvements, which means we're moving forward with park improvements come this spring. 
be in the planning phase right now. I know Josh is doing some late work, getting some of the stuff from the engineers that are needed um, from past work that was done there for Green Acres. Once that's done, we'll get the planning phase going. So the first sign of a nice and diggable ground come the spring after the winter, we will be in construction mode full time to get that where it needs to go by the summer. So good news on that front. I was always nervous about that. And uh, we also received a letter from the Burlington County Bridge Commission um, in support of uh, a bunch of uh, grant applications that we are submitting, uh, including uh, you know, crosswalks and safe ways to streets grants to allow uh, better pedestrian crossing in our crosswalks. This way it's more you know, uh, easier for drivers to see who's crossing, especially with the amount of events that we have in town. So all good stuff. And for those, only one here today, um, asking about redevelopment very shortly. Um, there will be a uh, probably a work session on the schedule. We'll talk about that. I want to get some more information from the redevelopers that are out there. So again, I think it's kind of been short, but a lot of stuff is confidential right now. And as we get to the point where we have more we can talk about, we'll invite all the public and talk about it. So it'll be on the radar, have not forgotten, and we will update you as soon as that is there. And again, that'll be on the website as well. There's a section right in the middle that says Township Projects. One of them is redevelopment. And when there's confidence put there for the public to see, it will be placed there. That being said, is there a uh, motion to adjourn the meeting? So moved. All in favor? Right. The meeting is ended. Next meeting is Monday, November 9th at 7 p.m. Thanks again, everyone. Have a good evening.